So in this video, it's about the Berikai Bitwig theme editor. And um, some people ask me to do a video about it and show how it works. And before I go deeper into this video, please do this on your own risk. It's not official. It's probably against the TOS or EULA or whatever. Uh, so please don't call the support on this if you run into problems. Okay, so do it on your own risk. This is also called more or less like hacking because we patching the binary. Um, so like I said, the Bitwig theme editor is basically a Java application that kind of patches the Bitwig binary and exchanges all the color variables and allows you to create or change the color theme of Bitwig Studio. Finally, someone did it, okay? This is the repo here. I put the link in the description below. And you need to have at least Java 17 installed on your PC, right? So head over to the Java page and download it. But most of the systems have actually uh, an up-to-date Java uh, runtime installed, okay? Also, your probably best first stop is also the Bitwig Discord here. There's a theming sub forum in here, right? On the left side, you have to scroll down theming. And I just created this because there are a lot of people just want to talk about this and want to exchange information. There are so many engaged people in the community that just want to change the colors of Bitwig Studio. It's insane. It's probably more people than people that want to make music with it, but <laughs> people like to change colors for some reason, okay? So this is probably your best first stop because there's my first initial post here with all the links you need. There's the theme editor. There's a repo here for just the themes itself. There's a color chart. It's more or less a spreadsheet on Google Docs where people exchange information here, what kind of variable does what and what are the problems. There are some notes here on the right side, also screenshots. This is nice to have. There's also some kind of editor helper I created a few days ago. It's a Java or um, JavaScript HTML um, application that allows you to change the colors, but I show you this in a moment. So this is probably your first stop. Also, you get help in there. And there's also Barry Kai in there. They're getting you some help. Um, so lots of people are exchanging information, how to change colors and, you know, problems you probably run into, right? Also some ideas. So some people don't like this orange for some reason. I have no idea why, but, you know, that's, uh, that's a taste thing. Also some ideas here for themings and so on. Oh, what's this? Okay. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, yeah, so this is probably your best first stop if you have questions. I'll also put you the link in the description below. So head over to this Discord here and, you know, get your information you need. So let's go back up here. Um, so in this repo here, that's the first link, right? The Bitwig theme editor. You can just head over here to the release page or just click in here, release page, and just download the last recent version, this Bitwig theme editor jar file. And this goes straight into your download directory. Uh, looks like this. And then you have to open up the PowerShell, or if you are on Mac, you have to open up the terminal. You can do this here by just typing in power shell. And I need to execute this as an administrator. So I right click on this and say, run it as an administrator, right? Because some files are hidden or I don't have the permissions as a normal user to actually change them. So then you basically are in your Windows system 32 directory for some reason. And we want to change this and we go to the download directory here by CD, C, then uh, user, and then you can hit tab. And then my name, polarity, tab, and then downloads, tab, and you are inside of this download directory. So let's check. Yeah, old and Bitwig theme editor 1.3.0 jar. So now we can check if we actually have the right Java version running. So we type in Java minus minus and version 
and you can see oh I have to turn that version in. Uh, I have running uh, version 22 so that's that's pretty fine clear and now we want to execute this basically this this file here so we type in Java space jar space and then bit quick and then just hit tab and then we hit return and off we go and then we get this kind of your file picker and we have to select here the bitwig jar and you can find the bitwig jar in uh, let me see C program files then you go for bitwig studio then I use here beta 7 because I usually reinstall beta 7 or beta 8 is probably dropping in the next few days I don't know so I'm have to reinstall it anyway so I go for beta 7 and then I go into the binary directory and then there's here the bitwig jar the mighty bitwig jar okay <laughs> we select this and hit open then it takes a while and you get this modal or this pop-up we have two options now yeah, change theme and export current theme and usually if you want to change the colors you have to export to current theme first and then if you change the colors inside of this file then you use this uh, button here to update basic basically the theme if you just want to download some themes you probably only need this okay so I go you uh, I, I show you the process with exporting first right so export and then it wants to sh point to a directory we go also here to uh, the download directory and say current JSON right save and it says it's successfully exported this thing and we have here this current JSON right JSON file and now I want to just keep this and want to duplicate this so I hold down control here and just drag it and I make a copy from that maybe rename this and call it my own JSON and this one you can open up in some kind of random text editor you can use anything you want notepad plus plus or just notepad or I'm using most of the times here um, a VS code right so you can just drag this in you can see we have here all the variables all the names it's basically two objects in here arranger and window and you can just edit this here uh, change it to a different uh, variable hex hex color variable or you can just copy one object here the window object let's go down hit shift and click here just control and, and C so copy this and then go into my um, editor helper so this is a HTML application here so you can paste in basically this uh, JSON data structure here and then hit extract and you can see all the colors and then you can say uh, I want to tone everything into uh, and a bluish color something like this and then you can blend right you can blend in this color or maybe make a hue shift change the contrast or remove red something like this um, I actually coded in that you can click on these individual colors here but it doesn't work anymore for some reason so I have to make an update it just coded this I don't know in an hour or two hours with chat GPT so just a very rough uh, thing and uh, yeah, if you, when you change your, all the things, you just hit, hit uh, apply to JSON, and then it changes basically here this uh, code. You select everything, you copy it back, go back here to the editor, hit Control and V to paste it in. Save, right? So we have basically pasted in all this stuff from here into here. So we changed already the colors inside of my own .json, and what we can do now is basically go back into this Java application and can say change theme and then you point basically to this new JSON file you download here uh, current this is the current 
what we just exported and this is here the changed so we go here for my own json and then it says inside here of the powershell applying theme it takes a while theme successfully applied nice okay so now we can start bitwig so we need to open up beta 7 let's see how it looks like probably horrible um yeah but this is kind of how it works so it's pretty pink <laughs> um so here you can see uh, the sliders are in green now it looks different right and you can see here the arranger is still in the same old colors that's because um it's split into two objects we only changed basically here the the window object but you can do the same with the arranger object here right so there are different colors for the arranger if you want to change this and then if you change the colors in here hit save and then patch it basically inside here with the change change theme button and then you can uh, reopen up bitwig studio and it looks like this so we close this down again and we want to also close this close this we don't need this we don't need this and we also don't need this so we go back here to this and we open up let's say the theme repo right so in here there are some themes made by the community so you have ghosty coast ghosty dark mellow medium blue um, dark red so these are the finished community themes so let's download this one here dark mellow right so we click on it and you can download the whole package if you want to uh, but you can also go down here this route because uh, here uh, dario also changed some of the icons so you can see this here in the description if you want to use the include and custom icons replace the original ones right in these folders so there are also some Im images in there to replace some of the icons in bitwig if you want to do this but i just want to use here the json file so i go into this and you can see a dark mellow.json that's what we want so we download this here or it looks like this and download this dark mellow json so now we have this in here dark mellow we go back into this change theme back into downloads um, dark mellow that's what we want open it up applying theme takes a while success and then we open up beta 7 and it should look like a lot darker hopefully yeah it looks like this now dark arranger a dark window um, let's open up here polymer let's see how this is how an instrument looks like this is how the reverb looks like so it works like before just the color variables are different so you have no performance uh, impact it's just the same bitwig as before just the color variables are different but like i said in the beginning you basically patch or change or hack uh, the binary which is not usually something you should do so you can break a lot of things um, so use it on your own risk basically um, so this is how this kind of thing works if you run into problems like I say, said, uh, go into the theming subforum here. You can find a lot of help in there, also some solutions. And you're probably not alone with some problems. And please use it on your own risk, right? So this is, um, I probably get into trouble just posting this video and making it kind of more public, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it's fun people like to use colors uh used to change the colors in bitwig studio and um yeah it's a way of doing a different theme for bitwig studio 
Um, links are in the description below. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have fun. Bye.